Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Genshin Impact. In the last episode, we were able sure, to finish the I'll Sakura Tree Cleansing tune, Ritual, but it'll cost you an apple. which was very sad ending and everything, so a little bit of a bittersweet thing, but we were able to finish that completely, which also we, because of that, doing that quest and everything, we got a lot of um, Narakami Island unlocked and everything, which is great. A lot of secrets uncovered, there's still a ton more to see, like this stuff over here, this over here. But we're going to go ahead and get back to the main story. So we're going to start heading back towards uh, Inazuma City to meet up at the Komori Tea House to meet up with Child and everything. I'm not Child. Why do I say Child? Uh, Toma. I think it's because they, they kind of do similar things in a sense, I guess. But anyways, they're completely different personality-wise, though. But yeah, so that's pretty much our plan for today. So yeah, remember to like the video if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay. So this is probably the fastest way for us to get back. Uh, yeah, we'll head this way. Let's see. Pretty much just take the main road in, you know? Ooh, I see treasure over there. Ooh, lots of treasure. And all I think of whenever I see treasure is lots of primo gems. Like I've said in the past, we're at like wish number 71 or 72 or something like that. So we are getting very, very close. Time for takeoff getting a five star so i'm like we need to keep pulling Let's play. so i want every single prima gen we're going to keep doing single pulls or stuff because i'm like we are so close at least i think we are as long as our luck at least someone holds out we haven't had like the greatest luck though just because like our four star luck right now has just been very like so so we at least got another razor which was good but i just mean like we kind of got some weapons and we're not really like getting uh which we call it four stars like that often Reveal thyself. Wow, you go down real quick. Haha, you missed me. Okay, give me your loot. Really? No loot? Oh well, I'll take the chest. Okay, let me guess up here. Oh, just slightly out of reach. You know, I wonder how people do this if they don't have, like, been... Oh, they could probably use the, like, Geo Traveler now that I think about it. Because he's able to get some pretty good height on a lot of stuff. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's the teleport waypoint. Okay, okay, let's go grab this. There we go. Oh, look at the fox. He's so cute. Okay, we got a shrine. Here we go. Let's look at the viewpoint. Here we are, Inazuma City. Okay, so we're needing to get to Kamori Tea House, which is up this way. Let's see. Ooh, anything good? See, I'm getting lots of these little artifacts, which would be good for leveling stuff up, but... Okay, we got the blacksmith. Awesome. Please speak to President Song. Uh, let's see. Okay, so far nothing. Nice little city though. Pretty large city actually. Uh, let's see. Ooh, okay, another teleport point up there. And, okay, a shop. Is there anything in the shop I need to get? Oh, let's see. Anything here I don't actually have any of? I don't have any onions? Huh. I'll grab a few of those. I like to just have a few of everything. That way, whenever something comes up, we're just like, oh, you need to cook or have this item or go gather this item. Uh, some rice. Also, because the stuff isn't that expensive. Some shrimp. Oh, I love shrimp. So good. There we go. Okay, so just bought a few things from you. Um, ooh, it's Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hello there, adventure. Have your recent adventures been going smoothly? There's no commission I can't complete. I would expect no less of you. Keep that up. And I'm sure you'll be a most excellent adventurer. Speaking of which, the guild is currently looking for adventurers to explore Serai Islands. Would you be interested? Serai Islands? I don't know how to say that. Is it Serai? Serai? I don't know. Yes, it is an island to the south of Narakomi Island, with some parts of the island being subject to constant wild storms that have impeded the guild's exploration work thus far. Well, we have sent two adventurers, Ms. Aiko and Mr. Taisuke. Taisuke? Taisuke? Taisuke. 
to remain on Serai Island and investigate a way to calm the storm. I'm afraid that they haven't come up with any leads thus far. If you're interested, go to Serai Island and have a look. It has also been said that the island is full of buried treasure. That said, please be careful while you explore Serai Island. After all, we have yet to determine the cause of those storms. Cool, cool. So we got that. Anything else, Catherine? Let's see. Oh, had asked driver sauce. You co um, you've come at last. I've been waiting for you, adventure. Another Catherine. Another. <laughs> have you ever seen multiple Catherines in a single location? If you haven't, then they were one and the same. As the only year-round receptionist in the Adventurers Guild, I can use a special tool to instantly move between various locations in the world to deal with various important matters. After I help with your matters here, I need to head over to Fontaine. The adventurers over there are notorious for frugality, so I need to receive them well. I also want to teleport. Well, technically we can, can't we? Hmm? You believe me? Sorry, I was choking. Please don't take it seriously. Also, I thought you knew how to use teleport waypoints. Anyway, I won't bother you with pointless trivia. Come, I'll help you process the work that's needed by the Inazuma's Adventur Adventurers Guild. Once things are processed, you can accept commissions here and also enjoy other benefits. Add Astra Abyssos Adventurer. Sweet, so are we able to take on, uh... Uh, whatchamacallit, dailies and stuff here Add now, I wonder? Astra um, I'm thinking so. I mean, I already have done the dailies, but... I think, yeah, it looks like we can if we check our book. Uh, commissions. Yep, we now can do commissions in Inazuma. That would be useful for farming some Inazuma stuff, but we'll stick with Mondstadt for now, just because we don't have a lot of um, Inazuma unlocked, so it'd be kind of stupid to do dailies here. Okay. Let's see, what do we got at the food stall? Okay, let's see, what can we buy? Lots of recipes, those are always good. We got plenty of money, we got almost three million. Go ahead and just buy all your recipes. Uh, let's see, fish, we got a, wow, we got a bunch of crab. Uh, seagrass, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I don't have any bacon. Let's just get a few of those. There we go. Go ahead and learn all these recipes. Oh, we can use this. I think it gives you a uh, a weapon blueprint if you use it, but then I think you lose the mask. I'll go ahead and do it, but... Yeah, see, if you use it, you lose the mask, but you gain a blueprint. Really sad about that, because I think I would have preferred the mask, because I heard that the weapon you get from it isn't that good. Yeah, see, it looks like the mask is... Yeah, um... What? Is it gonna tell me what blueprint I learned? After all those are done. I guess we have to wait here. I probably did it too much. Let's see. Come on. Any day now. It should be almost done. And... Any second now. Right now, I wish I was sitting at the top oh, the bacon of the tree, looking out over a meadow, cider in hand. Oh, it didn't <sighs> tell me. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess we could. Well, the blacksmith's way down there. And we'll go check though, because we can just teleport back up there. Let's see, because I am very, very curious. Wish. That um. Uh, let's see. Oh, is this... No, where's... Oh, I talked to Hajime. Okay, I was like, where's the smithy thing? There it is. Okay. Uh, let's see... Ah, there it is. Yeah, it's the Hakushin Ring. Catalyst with energy recharge. After the character equipped with this weapon triggers an electro-elemental reaction. Nearby party members of an elemental type involved in the reaction receive it. Yeah, it's really not that great of a weapon, I don't think. Which makes me a little sad we got rid of the mask to get it, but oh well. I just was going to show you guys what the weapon was for a minute and everything, so that way you can decide if you want to keep it. I think in my personal one, I kept the mask. I didn't want to lose the mask. I kept it instead of uh, getting the weapon from it, because the weapon, like I said, really I don't think is that good of one. I don't think I've ever seen it actually recommended in a character build before, either. 
Okie dokie. Um, we need to go to Kamori Tea House, which is right over here. Awesome. And up this way. Okay, I think it's this right here. Yeah, it's this right here. Here we are. According to the letter, this should be the place. Sorry, we don't serve the general public. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait! We're not the general public! Well then, you must be a couple of wandering outlanders that snuck into the nation, judging by your attire. <gasps> Are our clothes really so... Uh, oh, uh, what Paima means to say is... <laughs> what she means to say is, here's our invitation letter. Hmm, the Yashiro Commission seal. This must be from Mr. Toma. It seems there's more to you than meets the eye. In which case, welcome to the Komore Tea House, a safe haven for the Yashiro Commission. Well, that sounds more like it. Hmm. Okie dokie, so we're able to get in now. Awesome. Paimon almost started a fight there, though. <laughs> see him anywhere. Do you think he forgot his promise to meet us? Who forgot their promise? I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. What? Is that dog talking to us? <laughs> Relax. No need to look so surprised. I take it this is the first time you've seen me in this form? So you're a dog? Huh. So you didn't see anything like this when you were in Leo Harbor? Yeah, but I know a dog when I see one. <laughs> all right, all right. I've had my fun. Hey! You're this close to getting an ugly nickname, mister! <laughs> well, I've had some time to kill, given that I've been waiting here for you for so long, as was the case in Rito. So I came up with this little fun greeting for when you arrived. But, in all seriousness, I would like to apologize about that little test you went through earlier. Though, it was quite necessary. It helped us determine whether or not to bring you before Miss Kamisato, and whether you had the courage to face the lightning alongside us. Hmm. Don't think that Paimon's gonna forgive you just because you're getting all serious now. <laughs> Sorry, did I overdo it? My apologies. So, how did we do in our test? Let me just say this. You've often found yourself skirting the rules from the very beginning, haven't you? Naturally, this is due to your unwavering and resolute determination. A long time ago, we had a friend who was much the same. But when the lightning struck... You mean Kazuha's friend? Ah, so you've heard of his story. Hmm. His light still burns all the more brightly. So, will we be allowed to meet with the Shirasagi Himagimi? Yes, of course. I will bring you to the Kamisato residence where the Yashiro Commission is located. But before that, there is one other place I was hoping you both would accompany me to. Oh? Where? I would like you to come with me to the statue of the Omnipresent God. It's still under construction now, but you can already see it from practically anywhere on Narukami Island. Can't believe he tried to trick us into thinking he was a dog. Is that the dog that we said free? No, I don't think it is. Is it? No, he looks a little too chunky to be him, but he is absolutely adorable, aren't you, you little pooper? Woof. Who's a handsome doggy? You are. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, so cute. Okay. Enough petting the dog, right? Okay, so the statue of the omnipresent god is this way. You said you can see it from J- Oh, yep, there you can see it. I mean, how can you not see it? You said you can see it from anywhere in Narakami, though. Is that true? Didn't think it was that big. Ooh, what do you sell? Oh, so you don't sell anything. <laughs> I don't understand that how- because, um, the gem seller is one that's supposed to accept the, like, the sigil currency, but I haven't found, like, 
Their shops aren't open in both uh, Inazuma and Sumeru, but they're open in Mondstadt and Liyue. It's just weird. I don't know what's going on with that or if they're not supposed to be or, you know. Gliding be Let's go ahead and grab this before we, you know, start another cutscene or something. Okay, so here's the statue we're supposed to be looking at. I'm surprised they let the general public just walk up to something that's under construction like this still. This area sure feels gloomy. Uh, people probably don't come here often, do they? Huh? Are Paimon's eyes playing tricks? Or are there things embedded in the statue? Visions. Visions? You mean all the visions that are collected from the Vision Hunt Decree are put into the statue? So you've already heard of the Vision Hunt Decree. Why did the Shogun issue the Vision Hunt Decree? Before I try to explain, I should perhaps remind you first that Mondstadt is the City of Freedom, and Leo is the City of Contracts. As for Inazuma, it's known as the Nation of Eternity. The Raiden Shogun is both the nation's most powerful ruler and its deity. The eternity in question is her endless and unchanging will to rule over Inazuma. As such, she relies on the Tri Commission to regulate the nation's affairs and the Sokoku Decree to limit the people's movement. The Shogun wishes to keep Inazuma in stasis, allowing the stream of time to flow from one end to the other without disturbing it for all time. Seems like every god has their own will. Of course, this is my own limited understanding. As for the reason behind the recent Vision Hunt Decree, perhaps the Shogun believes that visions grant people the power to change, and that her eternity doesn't allow for such instability to exist. Whatever the case, the fact is that the Raiden Shogun has dispatched the Tenryo Commission to scour the nation for visions, embedding each one in this statue. And this statue of the omnipresent god can be seen as Inazuma's symbol of eternity. But if that's the case, wouldn't you say that the Raiden Shogun is being, oh, I don't know, selfish? <laughs> Only outlanders such as yourselves would ever dare speak out so directly against the Raiden Shogun. And yet, I agree. The Vision Hunt Decree is something that simply should not exist. And Miss Kamisato has been committed to fighting it since the day it was announced. Huh? Hey, are you okay? You look like your mind is elsewhere. What was that sound just now? Sound? What sound? I didn't hear anything. Did something happen? Yeah, you touched the statue, and then? And then what? I could hear the sound of people's aspirations. Aspirations? Hmm. That would seem to confirm the saying. Have you heard it before? That when a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. That is where visions come from. In other words, a person's vision represents their ambition. So if what you've just said is true, then the ambitions of these people are stronger than I imagined. So a vision symbolizes ambition, and not power. Alright, time for the next stop on our tour of Narukami Island, the Kamisato residence. <sighs> Finally! Luckily, we've already been there, so we can just teleport there real quick. To the Kamisato estate! Off we go! Again, that's why I kind of wanted to do that quest beforehand, because we got most of this place covered. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's our reputation guy. Might as well talk to him real quick, see if he's got anything for us. Are we not able to do reputation stuff yet? We might not be able to until after we... Yeah, I don't think we can until we talk with the Kamisatos. Darn. In we go. So, this is the kind of place where the big shots of Inazuma live, huh? Hmm. Paimon kind of expected it to be... Nazier. Well, I mean, it is kind of hard to top the Jade Chamber. Welcome, at last, to the Kamisato residence, honored guest. Miss Kamisato is delighted to finally meet you. Is this the Shirasage Himegimi you keep going on about? So, uh, where is she at? <clears throat> oh, uh, behind the screen? 
Yes. <laughs> As the daughter of the Yashiro Commission, this is how Miss Kamisato is accustomed to receiving guests. Consider it a time-honored tradition within the Yashiro Commission. Forgive me if this is an unwelcome surprise. Mm, this is a slightly anticlimactic thing. Mm, makes sense. She's a super important person after all. Please forgive my lack of courtesy for receiving you in this fashion. Especially following such a long and wearisome journey over the sea. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. And Toma assures me that you do indeed possess the power to change the tide of the times. At present in Inazuma, in the name of the Vision Hunt Decree, the people's aspirations are being senselessly trampled underfoot. Though the Yashiro Commission serves the Shogun, it is the people with whom we share close bonds, given the contact we are required to have with them in the performance of our duties. A Commission's power rises and falls with the trust of their people. Thus, we cannot remain indifferent to this situation without also remaining indifferent to our own fate. Traveler, lend us your power and we can- I did not come to start a rebellion. Oh. Ah, <sighs> see, milady, it's just like I said. This will take us nowhere. I'm going to leave now. No, please! Wait! Please, don't go! <sighs> What? I will introduce you to the Raiden Shogun, on one condition. You must fulfill three small wishes on my behalf. What are your wishes? They pertain to three whose visions were taken from them. Perhaps once you've met them, you will understand. A warrior who guards a village, a former samurai who helped carry out the Vision Hunt Decree, and a swordmaster determined to become the best in the world. Does Paimon get that right? Correct. Please do all you can to help them. I will await your return here. I will do as you wish. <laughs> then you have my gratitude. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do great. Mm-hmm. Always something. Everybody's got a fetch quest. Okay, so we gotta help out three people. Or talk to three people, or whatever. Okay, so... One of them's... So the first one wants me to go to is the one in Konda Village. Okay. Luckily, we have all these places unlocked again. Why we did in that order. Oh, it's this guy. Let's see. Where's the person Ayaka told us about? Why are you doing this? Why leave all of a sudden, after all these years? Precisely. It's much too sudden. We've had no time to prepare. The children are desperate for you to take them out to play. Please, we urge you to reconsider. That must be the guy Ayaka told us about. Let's go over and see. Yeah, we talked to him before. Wasn't he having an issue with his memory or something like that? <sighs> so, why the change? If you want my opinion, something to do with the Vision Hunt Decree. It's clear that Tejima had done nothing wrong, and still they confiscated his vision. After that, he became a completely different person. I can't claim to fully understand it. But I could tell that he'd lost something very important to him. He went off on a walk, alone, circled the village a few times. And then, out of the blue, he announced that he was going to leave and become a wanderer. Truth be told, we aren't sure whether trying to keep him here is the right thing to do. But equally, it doesn't feel right to let him leave when he's in this state. He's a lost soul. Seems like he's a well-respected guy around here. Okay, what do you have to say, Maharu? Ah, uh, you must also be here to try and convince Tejima to stay. What's happened? Tejima has protected this place ever since he arrived here 30 years ago. Keeping out the treasure hoarders, Fending off any monsters that draw near, 
resolving quarrels between the villagers. He has put an enormous amount of work into looking after this place, and we all think the world of him. But now, all of a sudden, he says he plans to leave us. We can't help but wonder, was it something we did? We will gladly apologize if that's the case. All we want is for him to stay. Okay, so why does he want to leave then? You must be Tejima. So what's made you want to up and leave all of a sudden? Me? I... It's not a question of why I want to leave, but a question of what reason I would have to stay. Well, everyone depends on you. True. But that's not why I chose to stay here. And what made me want to come here 30 years ago? And why have I never wanted to leave in all that time? I don't have answers to those questions because I can't remember anymore. Ever since they took my vision away, it's like... a slice of my memory is gone. In the past, I knew I wanted to stay here. But whatever resolve I had then, it's gone now. So I thought, what's to stop me from moving around instead? The emptiness inside me will be there either way. Okay. Well, in that case, if we help you rediscover the reason you chose to stay, you won't need to leave anymore, right? Hmm. But if you can't remember anything, it's not gonna be easy. Oh! Maybe if you just try a little harder to remember, then... It'll all come flooding back? Oh, that reminds me. Last time I brought Tejima some fruit, I do believe I saw him writing in a diary. Mm, I keep a diary? If you say so. I honestly can't seem to remember. Oh, yes, yes you do. And what's more, I remember you saying at the time that you wanted to make a note of a few interesting things. Things which would prove very important at a later date. Perfect! So if we want to keep Tejima from leaving, we just need to find his diary. It must be around here somewhere. Let's take a look. If you don't mind, we will leave you to find the diary. We should head back to the village to inform the others of Tejima's situation. Okie dokie, so we'll continue this, you know, hunting for his diary right now. What's weird is, didn't we already pick up a diary? Maybe we hadn't, I can't remember. But we'll continue on with this quest in the next episode. Let's check our wishes first of all. Ooh, it looks like we're just short, guys. Sorry about that. We're so close. I don't think... Do we have any achievements? Oh, we do have some achievements. Maybe... I don't think it would be enough, but... Yeah, it's not gonna be enough, I don't think. Yeah, no, we're still too short, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, well. Well, we'll continue on with this main story in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!